Hey, this is Pastor TD. I just wanted to drop a little something in your spirit. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 12. Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Hey, this is Pastor TD. This week's challenge is, what do I do when I don't know what to do? The other day, it was interesting. My son, I could tell he was trying to figure out how to handle a particular situation that he was dealing with. And he sat there perplexed, uh, trying to figure it out on his own. And finally, he took up enough courage just to come and ask me for help and ask for some advice on this particular problem he was having. And it made me think about us in our personal lives. You know, what do we do when we really don't know what to do? Well, first of all, we got to make sure that we seek help from the right person. Today, my brothers and sisters, many of us are trying to find help from people that really don't know what to do. But today, I want to suggest to you to make sure that you're seeking God in all of your ways and seeking God for clear direction in your life. Then number two, just make sure you recognize your limits. Hey. They declared, this problem that we're dealing with, it's too big. We can't handle it on our own, God. It's too, they're too strong for us, God. They can outnumber us. They can overpower us. So when you recognize there are some things that you can do, and there's some things that God has to take over, that's when you begin to identify some things in your life. Then the last thing I would suggest to you is, make sure you keep your eyes on the Lord. Uh, the beautiful part of this verse is that they kept their eyes on the Lord. And how do we do that? We do that through prayer and through praise. Praying is what keeps us in communication with God. Our praise just lets us know that God is getting ready to bring us out of some stuff. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? You keep your eyes on the Lord. God bless you. Once again, this is Pastor T.D. praying that your good would be better and that your better would be blessed. Be blessed.